Hey everybody, it's Mike from Grower's House here and today I got some really cool products surrounding me. So when it comes to a fertilizing or a fertilization program, a lot of the times there are certain aspects of the fertilization program that might be lacking and a lot of the time those things fall into like the organic matter category or like the amino acid things like that things that aren't mineral nutrition that the plant directly needs but things that definitely improve the quality health vigor secondary metabolite production of our target plants so the first really important additive that I think should be part of most people's cultivations should be some sort of a clean, high quality seaweed product. So the Ventana Plant Science Commercial Seaweed is your standard Ascophyllum nodosum. However, it's sourced from a very good location on the coast of Ireland, I believe. So it's very clean. There's not a lot of like Pacific trash or anything like that. These are very clean waters and these are sustainably sourced sources of seaweed. So what they do is they react it with potassium hydroxide like most seaweed products. And that gives us a very concentrated, high quality version of a commercial seaweed or kelp product for us to use. So the key thing with these commercial seaweed and kelp products that not a lot of people know is not only are you applying this to your plants for the polysaccharides, the amino acids, just the increased organic matter and carbon in your soil, you're also adding this because seaweed, Ascophyllum in particular, has very high natural levels of naturally occurring plant hormones. So by adding a little bit of this into your nutrient regimen, what you're actually doing is increasing the hormone production potential of your plant, or at least giving your plant the opportunity to. Generally, you're gonna see lots of things like cytokinins. Um, back in the day, they used to actually label how much cytokinins were in products that had seaweed. But I think because of labeling reasons, they don't do that anymore. But it's still the same type of seaweed that we've been using for decades now. And we know as growers that it's not just the nutritional benefits, it's kind of the plant growth benefits that you get from a commercial seaweed. So this is one product that I always recommend when it's what's the next step after mineral nutrition. Generally, I'm gonna recommend something that has a very high quality commercial seaweed or kelp product in it because of that plant growth enhancing potential. So this is a great product. I really hope you guys would try it at least in one of your grows, maybe do a side by side because the results are generally pretty clear. You're gonna have bigger, more vigorous plants. The plants are gonna be able to resist stressors a lot better than plants that don't get this product on them. So definitely give it a try. If you have any questions, of course, you can reach out to the Grower's House team. We can answer any of your questions about seaweeds or kelps. If you have questions about Ventana's product in particular, check out Ventana's website at ventanaplant.science. So the next big product that I wanted to really shout out was this stash blend. So this is a new product for Grower's House and this is kind of hitting all the bases in one bag. It's a really cool product that does have seaweed in it. It does have a Ascophyllum seaweed product in here, but it has so much more. It has humic products from Liardonite. You have your beneficial bacteria, you have beneficial fungi, and you also have a really cool product called Corn Steep Liquor. So corn steep liquor is one of the newer additives, even in the ag world, that's gaining a lot of popularity. Corn steep liquor helps the plants increase their nitrogen utilization when there's low nitrogen. So things like late flower cycles, things like that. It also increases general plant vigor and nutrient uptake throughout the growth of the plant. Now being an all-in-one, it does have the microbes in here, which is gonna be your beneficial bacteria and your fungi. Now, it's important to get that beneficial bacteria and that beneficial fungi down, especially when you're adding additives like this, because those microbes help the plant utilize all of the corn steep liquor, the seaweed, all the amino acids, saccharides that are in this bag. Of course, I already covered the seaweed and it has that seaweed in here. It also has humic acid, 3% humic acid derived from the Ardenite, just like you'd see on a normal humic product. The important thing with humic acid is generally for medicinal plants, if they're being grown hydroponically, it's gonna be quite an inert media. You're either using a stone wool product or a cocoa coir product. There's really not a lot of plant available or even you know, soil structure based organic matter. When you add things like humic acids, it adds that organic matter, it adds more potential for that root zone to complex and create available nutrients for the plant. So it's always important if you are going to add, ask me for a second addition to what you should put down after mineral nutrition, it probably be something that boosts your organic matter and amino acid content, which is generally gonna be things like humic acids and uh, fulvic acids, things like that. 
So this product has the seaweed in it, it has the microbes in it, it has silicon in it as well, and it also has that corn steep liquor. So basically, we're now covering all of the bases as far as our beneficials that we want to put down in our root zone. We're adding in those complex sugars. We're adding in a kind of unique type of blend of enzymes and sugars from the corn steep liquor. So this is like all of the additives that I generally recommend in one bag. It's kind of cool. This is a very cool product for flowering stages, especially. Especially if you're running in inert media like Coco Choir or Stone Wolves, you're gonna want something else to set your plants apart from just people running a mineral nutrition program. And it's products like these that I generally recommend for that. Especially since this is pretty cheap, it's a dry product, so you're not shipping a bunch of liquid across the country. It's very efficient, but it's a very concentrated and good product as far as additives go in a plant nutrition program. Comes in a variety of different sizes. One thing that you should note, since this does have corn steep liquor, right now they're quite dry flowable and good in the bag. But if you crack this bag open, it will get a little bit chunky in the bag as moisture gets in. So what we generally recommend is buy enough in a size that you're gonna use in about two to three weeks, and then open a fresh bag. If you get too large of a bag, the product is still good. If it gets a little bit harder, it's just harder to dose out. So if your product does get hard, just know that you just have to break it up, measure it out that you, the way you usually do, and you're fine. There's no issue if the product gets a little bit chunky. Just know that that's normal from the corn steep liquor being in these bags. So just make sure that you're only buying the sizes that you'll use within about a month, and then open up a new bag after that. So that is the Stash Blend. It's a really cool product. I wish everyone got a chance to try this. The third kind of most important additive that generally I recommend, if it's not already part of the mineral nutrition program, is gonna be a silicon. There's many different types of silica products out there. They're generally derived from like silicic acids or potassium silicates, things like that. VPS has a pretty cool and unique version of silicon. They call it their commercial silicon. And this is actually derived from silicic acid, but it is purified. So what they do is they pull out all of the colloidal or all the silicon nanoparticles under about 20 nanometers. Under that size, you know, there's research that shows that those silica uh, molecules go directly into the plant and are used or deposited where they need to be. So this is a very purified, very kind of like, purpose-based to feed the plant silica product. It's not like a generalist product like potassium silicates are. This is made to be uptaken by the roots so that it can be deposited where the plant needs by the plant itself. It's very concentrated. The rate on this is anywhere from like half, I think it's 0.4 to one half a milliliter per gallon. And you're still getting the PPM requirements that generally people are looking for when it comes to adding silica to their nutrient programs. Being a silicon nanoparticle and not just a silicic acid, this is actually very stable in the bottle. Um, I know back in the day when we were using ag products in our grows, a lot of the times those products would gel up. You're not gonna see that issue with the silica from VPS because of the fact that they don't have a huge mix of silica particles. They only have those silicon nanoparticles. So it's a very cool product, very efficient product for grows. It's almost negligible in cost, and it makes sure that your plants get the silica they need. Silica is very important for managing abiotic stress, for disease resistance, lots of the metabolic processes that are aligned with keeping the plant healthy and safe. Silica plays a big part in, so I always recommend someone get some silica down if it's not part of their original nutrient program anyway. So going on the line of things that are kind of important to add in a salt only or a mineral nutrition only grow. Again, we're gonna go back to those amino acids. Flava 4X from Ventana Plant Science has been pretty game changing for a lot of people as far as getting that organic matter into their root zones. This is an extremely bioactive product. As soon as you put it down, you know, your, your microbial activity will start to go up. And that is really important, especially in late flowering cycles where you want those microbes to make as much of your root zone available to the plant as possible. And for those microbes to be nice and healthy so that they can kick out maybe their own secondary metabolites, which may influence your own secondary metabolite production in your plants. So something like an amino acid product is really important also in the kind of bulking or the growth phase. This kind of shortcuts a lot of the processes. This is polyaspartic acid, so as it breaks down, it's just free aspartate that goes into the plant that the plant can use in its own amino acid and protein building processes. 
really cool product. This is not something that you want to run all of the time, but this is definitely something that if you run it in the correct stages of your grow, can absolutely set your grow apart from your competitors because of the increased secondary metabolite profiles, the increased terpene profiles. We've seen increases in terpene and cannabinoids in basically every setting that this has been implemented in, and we would like growers to give it a try and see how well it works for them. The last thing that a lot of people don't consider in a commercial cultivation setting is what products they're using that may not seem like they're inefficient. And you know, one of the big problems is how much pH up and down are you using? How much modulation of your pH do you need? Ventana Plant Science saw the need for people to kind of use a more technical grade product instead of using a more consumer grade product. So they've actually got in the works these special bottles right here. One of them makes your pH go up really fast and one of them makes your pH go down really fast. So that is a new product that Ventana Plant Science is planning on releasing soon. And we are really excited about it because in the trials that we've done here at Grower's House, the Ventana Plant Science pH down in particular is like double the concentration of the strongest stuff out there on the hydro market right now. So one additional advantage of the VPS pH down is not only is it used as a pH down, but it can be used as a line clearing solution. Being such a high percentage of acid, what VPS did is they realized the need for people to maintain their irrigation equipment so they've added instructions on their label for using their acid to do a line clearing flush. Now an acid line clearing flush is generally recommended by most manufacturers of drip equipment. It's one of the easiest and most effective ways to remove scale, remove buildup from drippers, membranes, emitters, everything like that. And it's pretty safe as well. So one thing that we want to make sure that people are using with the VPS pH down is a good SOP to clear their lines after each cycle because your irrigation is only as good as how clean it is and it's nice that VPS rolled in this cleaning SOP with their products as well. So those are generally the additives that I recommend. One big question that I get a lot is how do I add these to my nutrient program? A lot of the time folks will use products like the seaweeds or the stash blends or the flavors through just an existing drip system. Generally, most drip systems are not really designed for liquids that have high organic matter in them. So what we've been recommending a lot is to have a secondary drench system to apply these products directly to your plants, not through a traditional irrigation drip system. One of the really easy ways that you can dose these products out is having a dosing station basically right before the irrigation water hits the plants where these products can be taken up and only sent through those drippers so that they aren't going through all of your irrigation lines in your facility. Generally, even me as a consultant, I like to recommend keeping your drip irrigation setup as simple and as inert as possible, and then using other tools like hose end sprayers, mid irrigation system dosers to add these additional products to make your plant quality much higher while keeping the maintenance of your irrigation system low. So if you have any questions on how to use these additives, how to dose them out, what the best rates would be, the best weeks within a growth cycle for you that would be optimal to use these products, please drop us a line at growershouse.com. You can reach our commercial team. If you have any questions about these Ventana additives specifically, you can visit ventanaplant.science and go ahead and shoot those guys an email and they're usually really responsive on answering your questions about their products. Lots of good additives here. It's not just about mineral nutrition now. We've had a lot of people bring the cost of their grow down. Now we're trying to make sure that growers maintain the quality that we've been used to and increase that quality by using the correct additives at the right time. All right, everybody, this was Mike from Grower's House. Thanks for watching. I really hope you learned something here. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you uh, have anyone you wanna share this with, please do. I feel like this is very important information for all of us growers out there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Keep growing.